Hi, I'm Paul Roberts, Artsy One, with Conscious Counseling 101. Today I'd like to talk about fear. Phobias. The fear of anything. How you can overcome it and never get trapped by it. First, let's figure out what fear is. Fear is the sensibility that you have that somehow you are more vulnerable to something than everyone else. And because of your feeling from your perspective that you are more vulnerable, you consider yourself more fearful of this than anybody else. As long as you stay in that state, it will consume you. You're lower than anyone else, and you're going to lose the battle that you're having with these fears, whatever they may be. So you need to raise yourself up Get yourself out of the perspective that you're stuck in. Get yourself a new ability to have a heightened conscious and perceive things in a whole new way that others aren't. Because when you can do that, you will be able to lift yourself up above everyone else. And by doing so, your fears will diminish in the sense that they were before. Because in comparison, you'll have less fears now than everybody else. Now, how is this done? Well, the first thing we do is we look at what the majority of all people, both now and for all time, have done. And that is to accept this conscious world that they've been born into, to try to come to understand it, but to, to one extent or another, and man uses religion, and some people use uh, ideas and and spirituality, science, whatever, to overcome this. But what, what they're doing with all these things is they're, they're formulating some kind of a thing that they can use to suppress all ideas about their vulnerability um, that they know inherently, even, even if it's suppressed and unconscious, that they are weak and they can't know anything for sure. And, and because of this, this, this humongous burden that is placed upon man because of his limited perspectives and his limited ability to do anything about what he knows, even if it's buried deep within, what he knows he can't do anything about, causes all people to live in a delusional, false world with a false set of completely fabricated perspectives designed to serve them in unison strong survive but they but they only survive in the real world there are winners there are losers there is the survival of the fittest there there are fearful there are not fearful people there's all kinds of delusions of every type that are manifested in this realm in order to give you a leg up and I don't want to say a leg up that is so much of an understatement in order to completely throw and cast all this away in order to empower you to have what you need to overcome everything that may be gripping you, every fear, every false illusion, every weakness, every misunderstanding, every, every uncertainty that you might ever have. Give and surrender everything to the conscious perception that you know nothing, absolutely nothing, and that no one else does either. When you achieve the ability to do this, which can be done instantly if you think about it, you just need the understanding of the perspective to give you the perception, to give you the power, to realize it's true, take it back up outside of your buried subconscious, put it right in front of you like a neon sign, live with it every single day and be totally aware of its existence, never suppress it again. When you realize this, you will realize that what you know is far superior than what everybody else is operating under their guidelines in their life with which is completely based on not knowing but completely having a hundred percent confidence and faith in everything they see everything they think they know every single thing that has been transcended and, tra and, and brought down to man's understanding and comprehension throughout all time from all people that have become, come before us from all knowledge and understanding abandon it okay just completely abandon it now let me tell you what you should be fearful of. You should be fearful of not having the ability to realize and perceive and understand and do this that I'm telling you to do right now. The reason why you should be fearful of that and that only is because
because that is the thing that is captivating you. That is the thing that is absolutely keeping you from breaking free. That is the thing that is keeping all the reality of what's really going on in the world, in the universe, at bay. That is what's keeping you in a box, keeping you trapped inside what I like to call the matrix. You've seen the movie. That was just a movie, a fantasy thing. You know, they go in with the computers and they get in there. No, it's not like that. But in reality, it is in a lot of ways. Because as long as you believe and succumb and operate to this whole idea of what is real in front of you and what you can learn and what you know from everything that everybody's ever told you, you're going to have to operate there. Now, we're talking about fear today. Why are you fearful? You're fearful because within that realm, you're lower than you'd like to be, strength-wise. You're able to be dominated and manipulated by others. You're able to not, you're not able to fight for yourself and to lift yourself up. So the only consequence, the only thing, the only thing that you have left is your fear. And so it consumes you and grips you and you cannot get rid of it. It's there for a logical, viable reason. The things I've described are logical, viable reasons if you're looking at that realm. As long as you're looking at that realm, that fear will consume you. Now, people can give you tools and techniques that can help you to rise to levels of other people that are more successful. Uh, you can have health insurance. You can go to good doctors. You can live a, a healthy life at the fitness center. You can work on your mind, your education. You can find avenues uh, for uh, forward momentum and, uh, and positive self-help and growth. You can find ways to escalate in your class system. You can find ways to improve so many things about your skill levels and your talents and your abilities and the place that you can bring for yourself in this world. And, and, and the things that you can return to yourself by gratifications and, and successes and, and happiness and uh, joy and, and self-sustainment. You can do all these things and continue to, uh, to deal within that realm if you overcome your fears. But here's what's going to happen. Even if you're the most successful person in the world and your fears are gone, you still have something very, very, very serious to fear. And you don't even realize it. That's far worse than where you were when you had a sense there was something to fear and you were thinking about it. You have a sense there's something to fear and you're thinking about it? Now's your chance to do something about it. Now's your chance to understand it. Now's your chance to realize that that little inkling of fear that is in something founded in reality that is worthless and meaningless can actually help you to see what I'm talking to you about right now. The fact that you came and you looked at this video, the fact that you came and sought after counseling or were open to other people's ideas, that's the very fact that is going to help you to be on your way to overcoming this fear. But the way you're going to overcome this fear is not to use the practical techniques that have been developed in this real world to deal with your real world status and elevation thereof so that you can go to a place of less fear. What you're going to use is abilities that I'm going to help to teach you how to use these tools to formulate perspectives so that you can truly know how little you know and when you know how little you know you'll realize that everything you thought you knew you learned from others that didn't know and when you realize this you'll get past your fear because what you need to know and what you need to truly fear is much more significant than what you're actually fearing right now what you need to fear is that you don't know a thing you're powerless and vulnerable and in danger and cannot help yourself. You cannot overcome these actual real-world scenarios. Become consciously aware of this. Know that you know nothing and are powerless to do anything about it. Know that you need help outside of yourself. Know that you are nothing. Absolutely like dust in the wind. Grains of sand on the seashore. Not even those because they're real. <laughs> you're nothing. You can't even prove you're real. So today, in order to overcome your fears, what I share with you is that your only fear that you should have is not coming to the conclusion of what your ultimate conscience can come to, the highest choice that you can possibly make, which is the meaning of life, coming to consciousness, attaining higher conscious mentality, perceptions, and developing perspectives that are foreign and completely unknown to other people. Make those choices in your life based on those things only get rid 
and exit everything in the real realm of, of society, in the physical world, and you will be on your way to overcoming your fear because you will see something much greater to have a fear in if you don't have a comprehension of what I'm talking about. Now, I can help you with your comprehension of what I'm talking about. I can help you see how to deal with it and where to go from there. But for right now, think about this. Understand it. Throw out preconceived notions. Get ready to make major changes. This is Paul Roberts with Conscious Counseling 101. I look forward to talking with you more about this. Please email me. Go to my site, artsy1.com. Um, I look forward to talking with you on this and many other subjects very shortly. Thank you for coming by.